Today I turned 24 years old, and if I've learned anything in that time, it's that people love getting advice from a 24 year old. And I figured while well, I'm a 24 year old, I should give the people what they want. So here's 24 pieces of life advice from a 24 year old. Number one, take more pictures and more videos. And I don't care if you hate yourself today, do it for future you. They might be a little biased, but they're a pretty big fan of you. Number two, hang out with friends more. It may be hard to believe, but there are people that enjoy spending time with you. So if you enjoy spending time with them, do that more. That's like if broccoli actually tasted good. Not only do you enjoy it, but it's extremely good for you. Number three, drink water. Apparently humans are like 60% water. So it may seem redundant, but you need more of it which also shows how greedy humans are, right? Half of us could be made of a compound and we're still like, nah, I need more of that. Anyways, if you have an internet connection, a quick Google search will show you the numerous benefits of water. And plus it pairs well with like every meal. Water has range. Number four, sleep a good amount every night. Literally shutting off your body for a third of your life is one of the most beneficial things you can do. And all it requires you to do is nothing, which is also maybe why I have trouble doing it. Seems too good to be true. Number five, get sun. This is like the nice way of saying touch grass. Just like water, you can find plenty of benefits of sunlight online, so I'm not gonna list them all here. Plus, you know, you could use some good D. A little horn dog, you. <laughs> Number six, it's cool to care about your studies, fashion, interest, really anything. I feel like at a young age, it's instilled in you that things are cool and uncool. But it's like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> if you like doing something and it's not terribly illegal, do it. Don't be shy about the things you love and the things that make you happy. Those are the only things that matter in life. Things that you love and things that make you happy. So lean into them, but don't be too obvious about it, okay? That's just not cool. Number seven, it's never too late to try something new. That's right. Whether that be an instrument, a food, hard drugs, there's no age limit on those. So try it out. A clarinet, not cocaine, okay? Number eight, the best way to have a conversation is to listen. You don't have to talk as much and the other person thinks you care about them, even if you secretly don't. <laughs> Number nine, get dessert. I don't know why, but this felt important to include, okay? I've been hearing a lot of anti-dessert rhetoric flying around nowadays, and I just wanna, you know, take a stand for what I believe in which is cheesecake. Number 10, always have cash on you. $1 bills so you can tip, $5 bills so you can buy a Little Caesars pizza at any time and also tip those street musicians, and $20 bills so you can like pay for stuff or loan someone some cash, and maybe $2 bills if you don't have a personality and you need a crutch. Number 11, tell people how much you appreciate the fact that they are in your life. I have never been good at this and I don't think I'll ever be good at this, but, the first step is admitting you have a problem, right? Number 12, you will mess up in work, school, relationships, etc. But what is important is that you learn from those mistakes. My favorite people in the world are the ones that learn from their mistakes. Like, have you ever seen a friend fuck up one time and then they're met with the same problem later and they handle it differently? It shows growth, it shows you care. And inversely, my least favorite people in the world are the people that don't learn from their mistakes. And also people that like fruit flavored desserts. Fuck you guys. Rhubarb pie looking ass. Number 13, look at people's eyes when you are talking to them or they are talking to you. Human eyes are some of the most beautiful things in the world. They're all kind of the same, but they're all slightly different. They're like biological snowflakes. And it's another easy way to show that you are engaged and you care. Again, even if you don't. Number 14, learn how to cook a couple of each meal. Everyone loves a person that can cook. Plus, if you don't have much of a personality, this will give people a reason to want to be around someone as uninteresting as you. Number 15, be patient. In something as small as a conversation or something as big as learning a new skill, like learning the clarinet. Again, not doing coke, but have patience with others, with yourself, with life. Number 16, don't look at your entire paycheck. Make money get taken directly from it so you don't fuck with it. And then this taken money should be invested somehow. If you even get a whiff of that shit, you're gonna just snatch it right up. So just make sure it's gone before you can even see it. It's kind of like your own version of the marshmallow experiment. Do you know about that one? It's where they sat a bunch of kids down and put a marshmallow in front of all of them. And then they told them you can eat the marshmallow or if you wait five minutes, we will give you two marshmallows. What I'm basically saying is don't eat the fucking marshmallow, okay? Hold out for two. <laughs> Number 17, you don't need that many clothes. But that being said, really enjoy and like the clothes that you have. Spend the time to have nice things. Yeah, no shit, they'll be pricier, but you should only have really like one coat, you know? But it should be a really nice coat. What do you need, two coats, huh? You a detective on the side? No shot, Sherlock. Number 18, clean. 
your body, your mind, and your space. Yes, wash your fucking legs. Go to therapy. Clean your desk, okay? Dust. Get rid of it. All the shit in life will just pile up if you don't get rid of it, okay? So get rid of it. You don't have to wait till spring to do spring cleaning. You can invent a new thing called like winter cleaning. It'll be like a fun thing you do. Yeah, it's a fun thing called maintaining cleanliness. <laughs> Number 19, share more. Your time, your ideas, your stories, your experiences. The human experience is heightened when shared with other humans. And I know it's gonna require some vulnerability, but open that door up, okay? Cause some love will come in. Number 20, eat fruit every day. I mean, I don't, but you should. And eat different fruits too. You know I've met people that have never tried a mango before? They didn't even know it was a fruit. They thought it was just a flavor. So yeah, eat fruit. There are some good ones out there. And then there's pears. Number 21, take your time, but be purposeful in your actions. For the past like 15 months, I've had this feeling that some imaginary timer was running out. And while that feeling is rooted in something very real, it's also largely just in my head. What I have been reminding myself is to take a moment and appreciate my current moment and relax. But that does not mean magically things will happen. You still have to be purposeful with your actions. It's that old saying, right? You get out what you put in. So take the time to plan a vacation a couple months out. Because while it seems so far away, one day that future day and time will be your current day and time. And you'll be on vacation. Hopefully appreciating the moment and also, you know, taking a lot of pictures and videos. Okay, your future self's gonna love that shit. Number 22. Look forward to stuff. Like I was talking about with the vacation, plan these events for the future. In school, it was easy. You know, you have these breaks you look forward to. You know, winter break, spring break, summer break. But when you enter the adult world, you kind of have to make your own holidays. One of the fucking weirdest things graduating college was thinking about, well, now the next step is retirement. Like, no, it's not. There's a lot of time between that, but you know what I'm talking about? Like in elementary school, the next step was middle school. Then the next step was high school. Then the next step was college. Then the next step is getting a job. But then once you get a fucking job, what's next? Yeah, in the system we've created, it's retirement, but that's a long time, okay? So you gotta break it up. And what you have to do is make your own holidays. So for example, there's a group of interns I met at Intel few years back and we're still friends and we try to every few months have a game night. It's something to look forward to. That vacation you're gonna plan a few months out, that's something to look forward to. It's a holiday. It's just not on everyone's calendar, but it's on your calendar. You need to give yourself things to look forward to. And I know it's usually one of my videos, but with my upload schedule, you can't rely on that, okay? <laughs> Number 23, you're probably just tired and or hungry. If you are upset and you're about to make a decision, like at work, at school, with someone, Make sure you first, you are not tired or hungry. Because chances are you're probably not upset. You're just hangry. You do not want to quit your job, okay? You just need a bagel. And lastly, number 24, don't take advice from a 24 year old. I mean, come on, what do they know? <laughs>